Hey guys, okay, good morning, hello. My name's Sydney, if you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Um, welcome back to my channel, if you're not new here. I am Sydney, I do all kinds of lifestyle, fitness, health, all the things, and just kind of show my day, my healthy routines, and yeah, and just kind of share my life with y'all. But I wanted to start this video off, we're gonna do a full day of eating today. And I'm going to take you through what my meals look like and everything. But uh, I do want to do like a little disclaimer before we dive right in. And I just start from the first thing in the morning because a healthy relationship with food is something that a lot of us struggle with. And I want to make sure that you aren't using what I'm doing as a comparison, but more so for inspiration and give you um, just some different meal ideas. I like super simple, easy meal ideas that take little to no prep at all whatsoever. I'm not a chef. I'm not. Um, maybe you're not a chef. Maybe you like, maybe you've got a busy life and you've got no time to prep. So, um, but long story short, I track macros but I'm not gonna talk about macros or um, calories or anything like that of that sort. You'll probably see me weighing out my food in a lot of it, uh, and that doesn't mean that you need to do that. I, I think that a healthy relationship with food looks different for so many people, and whatever you need to do to get to that point is exactly what you should be doing. I personally started tracking macros because I uh, had chronic migraines growing up, and I didn't know it was because I was eating so such little amount of protein. It completely changed the game. It changed my life starting to track how much protein I was getting because I was under eating um, protein and, and that caused me to have chronic migraines every single day of my life. Long story short. So um, I do track macros. I do it so I can fuel my body enough. I don't do it because I want to restrict myself in any way. I am currently just fueling my body. I'm not in a deficit. I'm not in a surplus. I'm just maintaining because I feel strong and healthy. And uh, I love watching what I eat in a day is to get some new ideas. So let's dive right in. I just adore y'all. I'm excited to take, take you through my day of some fun little meals. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm doing an avocado toast uh, with cream cheese on it. I know, it's so random. Um, get my pan out. So I'm doing avocado toast with some Kite Hill cream cheese, and then I'm gonna do some turkey bacon on the side. So I'm gonna get that started. And I also like honey on my avocado toast. So we're just doing we're just doing a little spin, but here's the cream cheese that I'm gonna use, and then here's the turkey bacon that I'm about to throw on the stove top, and then here is the bread I'm going to use. So for toast, so I'm going to get this started and then I will show y'all when it's complete. This has been like my actual go-to though because it's so sink and easy and also I will never get sick of avocado toast. 
Also, halfway through the day, you're going to see some new nails because let's let's take a second. I literally, I hate when that happens, when it, when it starts lifting from the top and you need to just rip them off for the sake of your sanity. It's who I am as a person. And then I'm also going to put this um, everything but the bagel seasoning on top. Okay, here's my tip for you if you track macros at all. So you can put the cream cheese or whatever you're weighing. I do this with um, peanut butter as well. Put it on there and then zero it out. And I'm doing it in grams. So I put it on grams and I know that I'm gonna do 16 grams of cream cheese. So I take that out and that was actually 16 exactly. I'm a pro, I'm a cream cheese pro. And that way you don't need to put the toast on the scale and like add and take away or whatever. So it just makes it super easy. Um, Obviously, if you don't track macros, that's irrelevant, but it's just a good way to make sure that you're tracking accurately because really we don't know serving sizes at all. And then I also have the avocado, so I put that on there and I zero that out. And then I take a spoon. And Put that back on there. So I know this is 50 grams, okay? Put that on there. Okay, and then I'm going to do some everything but the bagel seasoning, and this is actually the salt-free kind. Um, I like the Trader Joe's kind as well, but this is the Dash salt-free. And then I'm gonna put some arugula on that, and also some cilantro. I literally love cilantro on avocado toast. It's the best. Put a little bit of that on there. And then I'm gonna do some honey. This one is Alabama raw honey. And then my, ah, my turkey bacon. And voila. Okay, I just left the nail salon. Woo -woo. I did powder this time, not sure I'm a fan, but that's okay. They look a heck of a lot better than what they did uh, before I got there. And I know I brought a snack, yep, I brought a snack. So I'm gonna head to, I'm having this really quick, just a snack on the way to the grocery store. I'm going to Fresh Market to get a couple things and then Publix. And I actually have to get my hair cut at noon. Like get these, uh, get this hair extensions a little, little shorter. They're a little long for my liking. So I'm going to go to the grocery store, run home, take all the groceries home, and then I have my hair appointment, which won't take long at all. It will probably be like a, a 30, 45 minute um, hair appointment. And then I'll have lunch. So time to hit the grocery store. Okay, I just got a few things from the grocery store. I got these from Publix. So, of course, this hummus that I'm obsessed with. And then I got these from Fresh Market. They are, like, some of the best crackers. I'm obsessed with them. And then I got cod, and I just let them thaw for a while before. Like, I'll set one out so that, um, or put one in my fridge so that I can have it tonight for dinner. I got some brown rice. And then I understand that this is so unnecessary to get them already cut. I don't normally do that, but it was just too tempting not to. I know, I know, it's ridiculous, but 
I did, and they've got some peppers in this with Brussels sprouts and then some sweet potatoes. And I hate cutting sweet potatoes, so I will I will get these like this from now on. Brussels sprouts, that was a little ridiculous. Um, and then I got some blueberries. The produce at Fresh Market, mm, so good. Got some fruit, also already chopped up. I know, stop judging me, just stop. And then I got some, I've never tried these, Mexican chocolate, but I love the brand Siete. Y'all know this, y'all know this. And then I got this um, kombucha, I forgot how to say it, kombucha, yeah. Uh, never tried that kind, but looks good. I like blueberry. And then I got some spring mix. Just a little, just a little grocery haul and I am about to run out the door. Well, actually I might make some protein coffee first and then I gotta run out my door for my appointment. Okay, I do half water, half almond milk when I do my protein shake and I fill it to about right there. And then I use the caramel toffee macchiato and add a scoop of that and blend that up. I personally um, don't eat dairy, so that's why I do the vegan. Okay, and this is my favorite part. I just am obsessed with how it looks. I don't know, it just looks so good. Ready? And it always spills all over the place, but. And then mix it on up. Y'all, you just can't get any better than that. I like it better than Starbucks. I was a Starbucks frequent flyer every day practically. And now that I started doing this, I prefer coffee at home because I just throw my protein in it and it's so stinking good. So good. It is so stinking gloomy out right now that I don't even know if you can see me right now. It is the middle of the day and it feels so dark out. I just got done getting my hair done. Look at it. Look at it. She actually didn't end up cutting it. We decided we'll just leave the mermaid length. Um, but she did have to adjust one of my extensions and then she washed it and curled it. And I'm telling y'all, when someone else washes your hair, it just feels 10 times better. It just, it, it's pouring rain outside and I like had to leave with my hood and I'm like, I'm not leaving my house because this needs to last me like the week. Can anyone else relate? But I'm having hummus and crackers right now. I'm doing the Mary's crackers and then the Athaka hummus. I already put it away. Athaka hummus. So I've got those in these little containers. And if you can cook lunch or dinner without snacking the whole time, we are not the same. We, we just don't relate to each other. That's not something that I'm capable of doing. I have to be eating the entire time that I am making lunch. So, mm. and I'm having this um, kombucha. Sorry, talking with my mouth open, or full. Um, I just had to look this over 10 times because I thought it tasted like alcohol was in it. Cause it says women, own, women owned, or woman owned brewery. And it tastes like alcohol to me. No alcohol in it. And I hate the taste of alcohol, but it's honestly not bad. So it's different. If you were to tell me that this is this was alcohol, I would believe you. But it's not. It's it's not. And it's blueberry basil. Not bad, not bad. And so I'm gonna snack on this and I'm gonna make some lunch. I went back and forth debating if I wanted to do ground turkey bowl or a tuna bowl, and I decided on a tuna bowl because it's easier and I don't feel like making ground turkey, so. Let's get to cooking. Good looking.
Y'all, that took me literally two seconds. You saw the whole entire thing. I did some kimchi on top with some cashews as well, get some healthy fat in there. And then I did edamame, which is great protein. I did tuna and I do the uh, no salt added wild albacore or whatever in Blue Harbor. Some cucumbers, spring mix and brown rice. Easy peasy. Easy freaking peasy and so high protein. Okay, so I am starting off with my veggies. I'm doing Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. And I'm just going to throw those in the oven before my cod because um, I like these super crispy. So I'm gonna put those on there and then spray those and season those. Where's my spray at? So I'm using avocado oil to just spray those and then I'm doing some garlic and herb seasoning. There's that. And then I have the oven set to 400 so I'm gonna wait for that to preheat and then throw those in there. Y'all, I'm sorry but these are just such a game changer when it comes to being pre-cut. Okay, and for the cod, I'm going to do a lemon underneath it and then I'm going to season that really well. I literally ran out of um, tin foil, like right now. This is all I have left. So just normally I would do way more than that. I don't know. We're gonna make we're gonna make do with it. I don't even know if this is gonna do anything. And we're done did, we are done did. I've got YouTube going on. I always cook with YouTube on. It's got Kylie Ross on right now on YouTube. But uh, in true Sydney fashion, we put balsamic glaze uh, and over some spring mix. I would also do quinoa or brown rice with this would taste really good. I'm not super, super hungry, so this will be plenty for me. Or avocado would also be really good. Um, so yeah, easy dinner. I just changed into my comfy clothes. I've got this Aritzia sweatsuit on. I live in a gray sweatsuit, like I really do. Um, and then I've got my Skims slippers on and I am just gonna start winding down for the night. I'm about to have a little dessert. Can't You can't have dinner and not have dessert after. It's like just one of those things that like, I can't go to bed. I look crazy with this on, but I'm about to do my skincare, so. That's why I have this ginormous headband on. We're bringing headbands back. Um, anyways, I'm having these tonight. I've never tried them before, but what I was saying is that I am a dessert queen. I, for the longest time, did dessert before dinner. I did. It was just, it was the Sydney thing to do is to just have dessert as I make dinner. But now I am back to having dessert at a normal time because it gives me something to like, a little nightcap, you know? So we're trying these Mexican chocolate cookies. Everything siete, bon appetit. I freaking love, I love. Uh, so let's give these babies a shot. Oh, they're smaller than what I thought. <laughs> okay, so they kind of give me vanilla wafer vibes. Uh, Mmm, oh my gosh. Okay, yum. Okay, so typically after I make my tea, I will sit down and just start doing my plan for tomorrow. And I have um, an iPad that I do a digital planner on. So this one has one where you can do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then activity. Um, hopefully you can see that. But I have leg day tomorrow and so I will, I have that written down and then I'll go through and I'll plan out my meals for tomorrow. If I have to go to the grocery store for anything, I'll write that down and then I also will do my schedule hour by hour because my days kind of change. I don't work like a nine to five. I have calls and random appointments and um, you know, different blocks of my day that I do different stuff. So I have a lot, if I don't write it down, it's 
it is in one ear and out the other. <laughs> and same with what I'm eating. Like if I could snack all day long, if I could not eat one gram of protein and eat snacks for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and I would, I really would. <laughs> so if I don't have structure, I grab and go and I'm like, wait, okay, my head hurts. I have no energy and I haven't had one real meal. So that's why I like to have some structure. I do this wind down for a bit and then I'll go read in my room um, before bed. But that's really, that's about it for my day of eating. I loved showing y'all what I have for some super duper easy snacks and meals. And I just, I love y'all. I adore y'all. Thanks for being here and I will see y'all next time. Cheers.